Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, another month has gone by, which means I'm here with another book review for you guys. I read 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 books this month, and they were all pretty good. I didn't have any flops, like, last month. 90% of these were romance. <laughs> there was one that was, like, not at all whatsoever. So, again, if you're not looking for romance, like... This is the wrong girl, this is the wrong channel, this is the wrong video for you because I am 100% a romance girl and all these book reviews will continue to be primarily romance. So, I do also have notes that I'm looking down at because my last review I did a horrible job at like really giving a review. So, I've changed that and I have notes now. <laughs> okay, but the first book was actually in my September review because I read half of it in September half of it in October, and I finished it this month. I concluded with giving it a rating of four stars, just because it was very, like, it took me a long time to read. I don't even think it was slow. It just, like, it didn't leave me, like, craving more, which I think is, like, the most important thing in a book. I will say, like I mentioned in the last video, it has some, like, violence and abuse, so trigger warning. And then the trope was very interesting. It was, like, friends to enemies to lovers, which I did really like. So that's all I really have to say about that. I gave it four stars. Next what I read was The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I read this book in two days. I was absolutely hooked on this book. I could not stop reading and I think something cool is it takes place all in like one day which I don't know how like they managed to write a whole book over like one day. Like it was really weird but it didn't feel like boring. It didn't feel like oh this is like dragging on. Like I honestly totally didn't even realize it was one day until the end. I was like, that was all in one day. <laughs> the quotes in this book, you guys, ah, they're so good. I just like found myself sitting there like, this is so freaking good. I should have like written them down. But there was like one that I like that was like, I don't have a type. Why would I live in my dating pool? And I was like, you are me. Like, you get me. Types are just... So overrated and dumb in my opinion, but anyways, that's not what we're talking about today. Um, no, the quotes were just so good. It was so cute. It was so spoon -worthy. Like, I want a boy talking about me this way. I liked and hated the ending, is what I wrote down. Like, it wasn't my ideal ending, but you can't, like, dislike it. Like, you can't hate it. You can't be mad at it, you know? I will say it was very unrealistic. It was not really relatable. Like, that's never gonna happen. You're never going to fall in love and say I love you and, like, kiss and all this stuff within hours of meeting a stranger. And then I actually watched the movie after I watched the book. I was so excited because... Uh, every time I've like read a book that has a movie corresponding to it I've watched the movie first and then the book was like kind of a letdown So I was like I'm excited to read the book and then watch the movie and the movie was not great The acting was not great It was just meh I will say however that the ending was better in the movie Which every single book that I've watched the movie and then read the book or vice versa the endings in the movie have always been better like a hundred percent i don't know why they maybe just movie directors are better than authors because like the movies are always like better or the endings at least and i rated this one four stars because i read it in two days it had me going but the ending wasn't super great and it was like very unrealistic to the point where i was like okay like uh. <laughs> okay the next one that i read was the flat share i thoroughly enjoyed this one they referenced kelly clarkson which i love i just have to give like bonus points because i love kelly clarkson it was the spiciest book that i have read like i mentioned in the last video that these are like no spice because i don't really want that i don't enjoy that however i realized that i don't want no spice absolutely no action like making out you know i want that but just not like too spicy if you know what i'm saying so this one was the spiciest while still being like appropriate like it was the perfect amount of spice where i was like enjoying it without being like revolted <laughs> and the ending oh my this had the cutest ending ever the storyline was that these two people were like sharing a like apartment but in 
England or wherever they were. They call it like a flat share. And so they were sharing it, but one worked nights and the other worked days. So they were never in the apartment flat share at the same time. Like while she was there, he was out working. And while he was there sleeping, she was out working. So I really liked the like plot. It was super interesting. I gave it a 4.5 stars because it was one of my favorite. I really, really liked it. The next one is Eleanor and Park. Ah, this one really stumps me because overall it was like a good book. Like there was nothing wrong with it. But it was a little bit slow. I think it was definitely the slowest book that I've like ever read. <laughs> I mean like by choice. Obviously school books are slower than a sloth. But that I've chosen to read, it was the slowest. It was a kind of like enemies to lovers, but they were like barely enemies. It was like a bus romance, I would call it, because they sat beside each other on the bus and that's really like the only time they talked and got to know each other. And they would exchange like CDs and like listen to each other's music, which was super cute. It was set in 1989, I think. I was like, what? Like, I did not know that it was like set in an older time and I opened it to start reading it and it said like August 1989. I'm like, say what? Like, I don't like old like studying so I probably wouldn't have read it if I knew that but it honestly didn't even seem like an old study. I don't know what the author was trying to do there but I guess like the exchanging CDs is like in a way like old and there were elements that gave that kind of like vintage vibe. I will say Eleanor like the girl the main girl character she was way too sensitive. She was literally a redhead. She was like a little bit like gross to read about <laughs> I'd be dramatic but she just like she was too sensitive I was like girl you need to just suck it up get over it you know like it was a little bit hard to read when she annoyed me so much with that being said the ending was absolutely adorable yeah I rated it four stars just because it was slow and I didn't really love her the next book that I read was Instant Karma which uh, another romance obviously this one I'm so torn honestly it took me so long not to like read but to like get into like I read a hundred pages and then I didn't read like any for a week and then I read the rest which it's like almost 400 pages I read the rest in two days so technically I read it in three days, but like technically I read it in like ten because I just sat there like looking at it like mm, I don't want to open you today, I don't want to read you. I'm like really conflicted. But I will say it was an enemies to lovers and it was a pretty good enemies to lovers like progression. I feel like a lot of enemies to lovers are way too dramatic, like way too one day they're enemies and they wake up lovers the next, like way too drastic, they're not a ton of progression. I will say it was a little immature for me in the way that there was like not really any like love action, not actual love action, but like you know like lovey-dovey moments where you're just like oh my god that's so cute, like it really lacked romance I think. It was there, like it is a romance book, but it just lacked, oh my heart is melting, like my gut is like all twisted and like, you know what I'm saying? The feeling that I get with these romance books, it lacked that. The main character, her name was Prudence, she, she had the ability to like give karma to people. If someone were to like litter and she would like get mad about it and she would like ball her hands into a fist then something would happen to that person like they would like slip on a banana peel and on the other hand if she saw someone like picking up trash she could like snap and something good would happen to them like they run into a $20 bill type thing so that's where like the name came from I like that element I think it made it more fun it was also very much about marine rescue like biology stuff because her and Quint who was the friend who turned into the lover, the enemy that turned into the lover, were like volunteering together at a marine like rescue center. So there was a lot of like sea animal stuff. So if you're really into that, I think you would like it. But I was like, this is really good. Like once I got into it, I like read it. I read like 300 pages in two days and I was like, this is great. And then the ending. I did not love the ending. Like, I really did not like the ending. So I gave it four stars, but I'm honestly hesitant. Like I feel like it's between three and four. Because although it had good components, 
also just lacked like the whole point of a romance book for me okay the next book that i read um was actually the non-romance it was called girl overboard and i hadn't heard anything about this book i just saw it at my library and it was like short i was like perfect it's not a romance but i need some variety every now and then it's like a more thriller it seems super good like mysterious okay first of all it referenced john legend which like had me crying on the floor <laughs> like yes ma'am yes ma'am five stars immediate five stars and okay this was all about this girl going on a cruise ship she was forced like by her family to go on a cruise with them and then she ended up meeting this girl they became great friends and then the girl that she met ended up disappearing and then it was all about finding her is she alive is she dead what happened to her i think it was perfect gave it 4.5 stars but it's pretty close to five for me maybe even five I just feel like I need to read a few more thrillers to kind of like see how it compares to others. I think like there wasn't anything wrong with it. I think it was the perfect amount of like intro and like getting to like know the best friend on the cruise and the perfect amount after she had gone missing and trying to like uncover the crime. Like I, I it was just so, so good. It was so well written and I loved the ending, like I'm not going to spoil, but I absolutely loved the ending with my whole heart and soul. It was very thrilling, it was kind of creepy, I, after I read it I was like, okay now I'm like going to lock the doors in my bedroom. Yeah, I think like I felt the kind of creep factor of it and, and the ending, like it was shocking, it was honestly really shocking, it was just so good, like so so good, I would recommend it to everyone, there was not an ounce of romance in it. So yeah, I was like, guys, I liked it so much, which makes me think like, maybe I need to get more thrillers, but although yes, that was like a higher rating than like Eleanor and Park, I still just crave the like sappy romance stuff as a hopeless romantic myself. And then the last book that we have today is Twice Shy. I gave this one 4.5 stars, lots of 4.5 star books today. This is actually recommended to Kyla, so shout out Kyla. But it was very good. It was about like a girl who daydreams, which again, I thought was like great that it had an element. I mean, she daydreamed about romance, so I'm not going to say an element that wasn't romance. But like, you know, another kind of cool, different element, you know what I'm saying. But basically, to kind of like tell you what it's about, this girl got catfished on Tinder. And then she ended up meeting the boy like in the photos of the boy's profile that catfished her. So like if I were to see Shawn Mendes on Tinder or like a dating app or whatever and then I were to realize that it wasn't actually Shawn, later on I would go to like meet Shawn Mendes. Like she met the guy in the photos that she thought she was falling in love with which was just so cool it was so cute and then something like the main thing i think that makes it 4.5 stars and not just four stars is that the enemies to lovers was the best enemies to lovers like i've ever witnessed like i was talking about earlier i like when it's like a good gradual progression and it's not just a dramatic all of a sudden we love each other and this was like the best it was so like i just can't even explain like it, it genuinely was so good like it was such a smooth transition i think that's what i loved most about it is that it was realistic so i rated that one 4.5 stars okay and that is all for this month's books i am actually going to start reading some christmas books this month because it is christmas time y'all but i'm so excited to do my review for the month of November because I'm gonna have some real festive romance books but I hope you guys enjoyed this review that's basically all thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next book review bye